Hello YouTube, this is Darkon633, and we're back with another review. This time we're actually going to take a look at the Deluxe Omnitrex from the new Ben 10 Reboot toy line. Now, I actually have been a fan of Ben 10 for some time, and while I've not been a Ben 10 fan from the very beginning, since it did take me a little bit of the first season to really get into it, I'm glad to actually see it come back, even if the show is a bit weird. It seems like they drastically changed how the characters work. While Ben is mostly like he was in the original series, he's a little bit more incompetent than we've seen in the original series in general, so it's a bit unfortunate. Anyways, this is actually a pretty good Omnitrex, even though, surprisingly, the toy line is being made by Playmates Toys. Now, for those who don't know, Playmates Toys is actually more known for making the TMNT toys, which did start once again pretty well in the 2012 toy line, but as soon as the line was getting closer and closer to its... And the toys seem to have diminished in quality quite a bit. And even about halfway in, a lot of the toys are kind of iffy in quality. So it is interesting to see that the toy line for the series is actually being run by Playmates, since the original toy line was actually made by Bandai America. So anyways, we're going to take a look at the box. The box is actually pretty big, actually. This is actually the deluxe Omnitrex. There's another version of Omnitrex, which is this basic one, which is a lot more close to the original Omnitrex FX in the original series. Anyways, we have a picture of Ben there. It says that it's the Deluxe Omnitrix. Shows it's got a bunch of features. Same thing on the side there. And it shows the same thing here as well. And shows that it can be obviously worn by a kid's wrist, but it actually can be fit on an adult wrist too, so that's pretty cool. And that pretty much covers the box. Now we will open it up and see the Omnitrix more closely. And now that we got the Omnitrix out of the box, one thing to note that I do not like about this particular release is that, unfortunately, it seems that the Velcro straps aren't the best of quality. While it's nice to see Velcro straps get released at all, it seems like even during the short period of time I had it, the Velcro is starting to wear out. And that's really unfortunate since this is actually a pretty decent Velcro strap in terms of size. Just to show that it can fit on an adult wrist. While my wrists aren't that small, they're definitely not super bulky, so this is a pretty good indication that it can actually be worn on an adult size wrist. Actually, it's got a lot more free room even with it attached, so that's really nice that it actually allows you to put it on adult arms as well. As a comparison, here is the new Omnitrix compared to the old original series Omnitrix. While this one's a lot more stylized, just kind of like a basic kind of toy, it does have the light-up features. I'm not going to turn this on right now, but it does have the features where you can spin the dial and you see the alien inside. The second version of the Omnitrix they released was this version, which is more of a kind of an LED style Omnitrix. You can use the different modes as well if you wish to and all that, but unfortunately there is no on and off switch and all that. And the Velcro strap on this one is a little too short and it barely fits in my arm at times, so... That is unfortunate. The following on the Trex release is this one, which is the one from Alien Force. Apologize, something fell off down there and caused the camera to shake. And it doesn't have an on and off switch. It doesn't have any batteries working right now. But this one is a little bit more kind of more like the actual design on the show, since both of these kind of were sacrificed for their gimmicks. This one especially, since. It doesn't seem to quite 100% match the design on the show. This one is a little bit more in tune with the design, even if it is a little bit bulky than it should be. It does have the ability to open like that, since it does have the little area where you can actually put in a little chip to represent the alien on there, and it reads through that. And I do have the Ultimatrix, but since it's not technically Omnitrix, I'm not going to bother really showing here. But now we're going to take a closer look at the new Omnitrix. It does have three modes. It has the off mode and demo and on mode, so it's nice to see that it actually has an off feature. We're just going to quickly turn to demo mode first. And it doesn't do anything on its own, but when you click this button, it does go through different sounds. And it just kind of goes through a lot of the motion sounds and all that. It's just pretty much a generic demo mode. It does have two LEDs, one in the button itself and up here as well. But, you pretty much get the idea for demo mode. Now we're actually going to fully turn it into on mode. Which will actually activate a new sound when you turn it on. And we're going to see a closer look at the LEDs inside. It's time. From here you can just turn the dial. It's going to go through several phrases. It's kind of random when you actually activate, but... Sometimes when you just leave it alone. So you can see there. It has a few kind of sounds going on. You're just going to leave it alone for a little bit. Just to hear another sound. 
and it has a few more sounds. We're not going to go through every single sound since this Omnitrix has over a hundred phrases, so that's really awesome actually in a deluxe Omnitrix, especially for a $25 price point. What's really nice about this Omnitrix is when you activate it, the actual sides actually form out, which is something that we see in a lot of design on the Omnitrix, but this is the first time to kind of replicate both of that at the same time, so those are nice. Inside we can see the different aliens, hopefully you can try to get a better look at it. We're going to turn up the lights to see a better look of the aliens themselves. Trying my best to actually show the aliens on camera. It's a little hard to see on this camera, unfortunately, but inside, oh there we go, it actually has the different type of aliens you can activate. So we're just going to quickly go through them, so we're going to start with Diamond Head. So that's pretty cool. This button actually activates the different phrases, so... It's Diamond Head time. I'm clearly the sharpest alien around. What goes around, comes around. So we got that, and it's got a motion sensor ability, which allows you to shake it several times in order to make the different sounds. It has about two different sounds in the motion effects. We're just going to quickly go through a different alien. So now they move from Diamond Head. We're gonna go to. We're actually gonna go to Wild Vibes. There we go. Gotcha. Better believe it. This weed's been packed. And each of them's got their own motion sound, so. Next, we're gonna take a look at my favorite, Heat Blast. So once again, we're not going to go through every single sound, we're just going to go through kind of the demos of the several sounds for the aliens, since they have about five or six phrases each. For Heat Blast and Forearms, they actually have different color LEDs when you activate it, so that's cool. Next, we're going to move to Cannonball, my second favorite. We're going to take a look at forearms. Get ready for fists of fury. I will crush you. They call me forearms. We're going to follow it up with upgrade, which actually sounds quite different on the show compared to the original. Next, we're going to move to Grey Matter. Grey Matter can solve this puzzle. Triggering the correct sequence of synapses should allow me some rudimentary motor control. Uh, sure wish I knew what I was talking about. So next, we're going to follow it up with Accelerate. Then, overflow. This is weird since this particular alien is very close to Water Hazard from the Omniverse series and I think he was in Ultimate Alien but I don't remember exactly. I think he might have appeared within those two shows but anyways, it is weird anyways. So now we're going to go to the next alien. Now we're going to go to Stinkfly. Now this particular alien got a major design change compared to this original since it's nowhere near the regular kind of bug-like design, it's more humanistic. It's definitely a different color, so that was pretty interesting that they changed that drastically. And then, yeah, it goes back to Diamond Head. 
uh, Wild Vine, and so on. And that pretty much covers the Almond Tricks on its own. We're actually going to keep it on for a bit, so we're going to quickly go back to Diamond Head. And then, it actually has a turn off sound, so we're just going to quickly let it go through as it turns off. So anyways, we're going to wait now. And with that, that covers all the sounds for the Deluxe Omnitrix by Playmates Toys. Don't get crazy, just stay out of the way, I'll you do my alien thing. So overall, if you're a fan of the original series, or even the reboot in general, I think this is a really nice Omnitrix to get a hold of. Even though it doesn't actually feature all ten of the original aliens from the series, since it does have a mixture of the various aliens that they actually featured throughout the various different shows, all the way up from the original into Omniverse. So it's kind of cool to see this particular brand come back as a new set of toys, especially since we're actually going to look, eventually look at some of the 5-inch figures released in line, which are far superior, in my opinion, than the small, not as articulated 4-inch Bandai toys. So we're going to look at that when we get a hold of them next. Anyways, this is a really nice release to get a hold of, and currently these particular toys are... Toys R Us exclusive at launch, so that's the only way to get a hold of these particular toys online, which I highly recommend picking up, even if you're a fan of the original more than the reboot series. Anyways, please comment, subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also, check out Twitter under Darkon633, and don't forget to check down the other channels down below. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen, and you'll see my content go up as soon as possible. I'll be back with more reviews in the future, but for now, I'll be seeing you later, YouTube. Bye.